What do we have out there in this binary world? Anybody getting the binary understandings inshaAllah? <clears throat> As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, when we become a nuqt during a test, we cry and feel humiliated and feel closer to Allah Azawajal. What is the best dua to ask at that time? Whatever dua comes into your heart, there's no one best in anything. Every servant has a different way in which Allah wants them to communicate. So it's not one, one for everyone. Whatever people come to their heart, uh, whatever they memorize, whatever from the app they're using, uh, whatever comes to their heart inshaAllah. But the, the, the system is important that to efface oneself and to shut down, shut off and let the, the one to pass and the oppression of one. We live now in a world where everyone is a one. The one whom wants to say that he's, he's nothing and that he's the biggest one, that's, that's not it. The system is now rigged in which everyone is a one and the result of ones is that they oppress people and they conspire against people. So this, this is not a good characteristic. We see it in dunya when you watch and say, oh look how that country they're doing like this intentionally to collapse this other country. They do intentionally to make their population take something to make them sick. This is the characteristics of one. So anytime somebody embodies the characteristic of a one, they conspire, they plot, they plan. For what? Because of a conceived power and authority that they're seeking authority and power and dominance over people. Which tonight they're inspiring is that the, the real path is a nuqt, be nothing. Teach people to be nothing. If you're nothing you go everywhere happy. And you go everywhere teaching everybody with ishq and love and muhabbat that be nothing, be nothing, be nothing. And that's, that's not what's happening in this world, in the world of physical and religious people. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh, this is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs. Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh. That people are sort of embodying a very interesting character of oneness and that we see throughout the whole world in which the reminder is be a nuqt and teach people to be a nuqt. InshaAllah. <clears throat> As Salaamu Alaikum Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah. Sayyidi, whenever I try to take the names of Ahlul Bayt and Rasulullah I feel as too dirty and I'm not able to. So there is so much distance and I can't do it. Please guide me. Yeah, this shaitan is playing with you <clears throat> because you take the name of every dirtiness and that's okay. And the name of Prophet has to be mentioned even if you are the devil himself. You have to make the salawat, you have to make the durr sharif, it's for the exact purpose that Allah created us dirty so that we would be in need of Sayyidina Muhammad but don't let shaitan play with us 
So you're too dirty to mention. Well, all day long I'm mentioning the satanic things. That's not a problem? So no, of course you have to. You have to mention Allah you have to mention Sayyidina Muhammad and that becomes the fight. Because the shaitan locks the tongue of people, the mouth of people, the heart of people and then fool them in their mind, oh you don't do like that, you can't do like that. No, no you have to do it, you got to do it and that's called the fight. So that, that's uh, you know when the nafs is, is trying to fool people. So whatever the shaykh is ordering is ordered 100% for everyone. There's no filthy person out there that's so dirty that they don't listen to this. It's exactly for that one person who reaches all filthiness, all dirtiness. Because look at what the hadith describes of the circle of zikr. That they're sitting in the circle and the angels are talking about all of Allah's blessings, all Allah's forgiveness, all of Allah's gifts. And the angel asked at the end, but Ya Rabbi with all this astonishing gifts you're giving there's one who's not from them. And Allah said, it doesn't matter, not from them. Whatever I'm giving it's such a blessed association, dress that one too. That was the secret of that hadith. Wherever their zikrs are, wherever their majlis and associations are, Allah doesn't look to lower or higher, all will be dressed from Allah's justice and, and, and mercy. So it's a matter of seeking these circles in their home and in their living room and in their associations. Do your zikr and your practices, that's it. Don't let shaitan play with the ears and tell people that they're not worthy, they're too worthy and this is not the way inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaikum beloved Sayyidi Walaykum As Salaam wa rahmatullah Sayyidi, is a ripple of energy created when we make a good intention or make an intention to do a good deed related to the saying, every action is based on intention? Yes, I saw that physics video. The, the, the physics and scientists are trying to show that, that not only the action produces an energy that will be given but the intention is a, a frequency that we send out. So from the heart and the brain that an intention is sent there's a hidden frequency moving. So immediately that caused the ripple. That Ripple of intention is what Allah will respond and judge the servant, luckily because of that system. That saves us, is that Allah gives to us is that, you make the intention, based on the intention I begin to judge you and provide for you an action. So that's a safeguard, like a device that has a safety on it, if not we're such a powerful creation that every time we thought something bad Allah would punish and mark it as a sin, as a sin, as a sin. Because you're thinking, should I do good tonight, should I do bad tonight? As soon as you thought it, if Allah wanted He would have judged and said, the energy is coming out, now you're going to be punished for it. He said, I don't know what I got punished for, just thinking bad, no then all creation would be in, in hellfire. This safeguard that Allah gave to us is, Kul amalun bin niyat, that I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait for your intention. If you're intending to do a bad thing and you begin to move upon that then it'll be marked as something bad. But if you're only thinking of something bad but you don't bring it to an intention to start to do it then Allah didn't count the thought for us against us. And then that becomes the effect of now the, the physics of intentions. So that, no itar arba'een, no itar itikaf, the khal wa suluq wa siyam fi had al majlis is make intention for the seclusion, make intention for zikrullah, make intention for sitting and doing your muraqabah, make intentions to do your, your salawat. As soon as you make these good intentions, then all the spiritual beings around, they begin to push that vibration 
so that you'll have an amal that matches that intention. Ya Rabbi I'm intending to do my salah, they push you get up and call the azan and pray. But if you were thinking in your mind maybe I'll play another video game, I'll go play my video game. At that time Allah could have wrote the sin that is azan time, you're now playing a video game. But the fact that Allah saved us is that until you make your intention. So then as soon as it's uh, the time for maqrib, Ya Rabbi I'm intending to pray Salat al-Maqrib. Make the intention so that Allah will provide the action that matches that inshaAllah. But yet definitely these energies and frequencies are moving and this is an energy field that humans produce. And the intention and good action begins to provide an energy field around themselves that they benefit and people around them benefit from until we can increase the size of that energy field inshaAllah through the tafakkur and contemplation by bringing the love of people whom are more pious than ourselves. That increases exponentially the field of energy that surrounds us. So if my field of energy is 10 meters, 9 meters, 4 meters because of good practice and, and, and good and healthy understandings, as soon as you do your madad and keep the madad and consistent with the madad, the energy field becomes that much stronger because you're now bringing the energy field of the shaykhs, the shaykhs shaykhs and all that whom he loves of Ahlul Bayt and holy companions. And as a result then this becomes a very immense energy field around people who have muhabbat and, and they do their tafakkur inshaAllah. As salaamu alaykum Sayyidi Wa alaykum as salaam wa Regarding knowing the self, tafakkur helped know the bad characteristic. However, it becomes hard to cleanse the self and the bad behavior. It keeps repeating how to move forward. Thank you. You know the bad character is the first step. Then you have the aura, the zikr, the salawats and then keep making your connection so that the connection is strong with the shaykh. And then you learn how to keep that connection all the time. So then the bad character is, is harder to stay with you when you're continuously in the muraqabah with the shaykh and in a close spiritual relationship because you feel their presence guiding you, don't do that, don't say that, don't, don't be like that because they don't leave, their energy comes and guides. When you keep the energy of these pious souls around you, you, you want to eat something that you shouldn't be eating, they inspire in your heart, put that down, that go do your prayers. Everything about guidance, their isharat and their guidance they begin to guide the heart. That's when Allah described Prophet shahidan, mubashiran wa nadiran. Anything that describes Sayyidina Muhammad is a gift to Muhammadiyun. Anything that Allah is describing of Prophet is His gift to the Muhammadiyun because they inherit from him in which they become shahidan. Means that they're like when you make muraqabah they're around you, they're witnessing you, mubashiran, they come with lots of lights and blessings like a care package. As soon as you meditate their energy comes and maybe there was something in the house, their energy comes and goes after it. Maybe there was a sickness that was about to start, their energy comes and destroys it. Maybe there's a sadness and their energy comes and tackles it. Means that's mubashiran that they bring good tidings and, and blessings and nadiran that they come because of their light is continuously you're doing muraqabah, continuously have zikrs, continuously you're thinking of the shaykh, you're going and doing the support, you're, you're sharing the videos. These are signs that in your heart you're thinking of them. So what happens when you think of somebody, they're with you. When you think of Prophet you don't think that his nazar is with you. But when you heedless and don't think of him then that's something different. But that's why they encourage people do khidmat. When you're doing khidmat and doing things they're with you because you're thinking of them, they're thinking of you. So as a result what happens? Nadiran, 
don't do that now, don't do that, don't do that. And you feel their inspiration saying, don't do that. Because if you do that, it will distance you from us, you'll cut your connection from And the soul that has sincerity will be very scared to lose that connection. That they, they struggled all their life to keep that connection. So that connection will warn that what you're about to do, no, 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 this is going to, to harm that relationship. So alhamdulillah the, the world of light is a very strong guidance. Those whom are able to be consistent and do their practices and in every aspect we've already outlined on how to do their practices, how to do everything, how to give, how to support, how to gain the nadar of the shaykh, how to do your muraqabah, how to, to get your meditation book and do your practices. It's a whole system that, that you have to know when you do that, the shaykh is with you, the nazar is with you, their guidance, lights and, and warnings are with you. InshaAllah Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifu wa Salaamun Al Mursaleen wa Hamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ila Shaykh al Nabi sallallahu alaihi wa sallam ali wa sahbihi kiram wa lama shaykhina fi tariqat nashmadiyyat al aliyya khasatan Shah Nashban Muhammad Abay Sayyid Bukhari, Sultan Awliya Shaykh Abdul Faiz al Daghestani, Sayyid Shaykh Muhammad Nazim Adil Haqqani, Mawlana Shaykh Shan Kabani, Shaykh Adnan Kabani, Shaykh Muhammad Adil. Mawlana Khaliq al Khushtawani, Sahib Zaman Sayyid Muhammad al Mahdi alayhi salam, Ruhullah Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam, Sayyidullah Sayyidina alayhi salam, Thumma Sayyidina Bakr Siddiq, Sayyidina Umar, Sayyidina Uthman, Imam al Hasan alayhi salam, Imam al Husayn alayhi salam, Sayyidatina Fatima al alayhi salam, Musayyira wa Sadatina, Siddiqina al Fatiha. As alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.